Happy big black floppy cock day, apparently, because that's what that statue looks like. Like, there is there a, is there another interpretation out there? I've seen black tur or just turds in general, but to me, you take a look at that, and that should have a blacked.com sticker just slapped right on the side of it, and that right there at ten million at a ten million dollar clip. That's supposed to be ending racism. Okay, and if you did, okay, you take a look at that abomination, okay, it's like, what, what is that supposed to represent, okay, it's like, it's supposed to be for MLK, what, how do you get that, how do you get that at all whatsoever, but, oh no, don't worry, the artist interpretation tells us, well, for 10 million dollars, you fucking better well provide a good explanation for that monstrosity, sheesh, but woke, a 10 million dollar MLK, MLK penis statue insults the black community. Coretta Scott King kin. Yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, first of all, do you really need to be pandered to like that? Second of all, the ten million or the ten million dollars probably could have been put to better use literally anywhere. And uh I know that it's MLK Day or whatever the fuck it is, okay, in the United States today. Uh, if you wanted to do something for the black community that would have been better, first hot take of many that we're going to have in this one, you could have had a statue for Malcolm X because, um, yeah, here's my hot take. Uh, Malcolm X is a much better voice to pedestalize if you're going to do that for anybody, which I wouldn't advocate for. But uh, he's definitely one of those black voices that should be elevated as opposed to MLK because at least his mental point of origin when he was talking about the plight of the black community was on the black community, okay, because he wanted to uplift them for the benefit of that community okay whereas mlk was just like okay don't worry one day we'll work up and one day uh white people will see us on the same level and it's like i don't really <laughs> fuck with that message but hey man democrats want to co-opt a, a lifelong card carrying republican you guys you know they yeah, just continue to racially shoegaze for as far as you want not saying mlk is a bad guy okay i'm not that fucking stupid and even if I did think that, I wouldn't say that on the internet, but I don't. I don't. Especially not on his, oh, the, his most holy of days. I can just tell you that that bronze statue, 10 million, 10 fucking million dollars for that hunk of shit. Legitimately, literally. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Even some kin of Coretta Scott King hate the 10 million dollar sculpture. Just dedicated to her and iconic civil rights leader husband in Boston. In fucking Boston, of all places, with a cousin claiming it looks like a penis. Bro, that's exactly what I thought when I seen it, because it was unveiled, I think on Saturday, I seen that, and it's like, it's just fucking retarded. Why Why you guys got a giant bronze dick in the middle of a fucking park? And I know, maybe, maybe I'm a little out of the loop on this one, okay, but... Why Boston of all places, okay? I understand they have the new fucking woke Asian lady mayor who's just fucking atrocious on a multitude of different levels. Okay, Boston used to be a base-ass place uh, full of some of the funniest people around, and if they were actually there for that, like, you know, if we're going to be talking about other dead people, and especially in Boston, uh, I would have loved to hear Patrice O'Neill's take on this. Well, that and so many other things, but, okay, this would be the one opportunity that I would like to hear Bill Burr opine on anything, because here's hot take now. Number two, of all of the comedians that came out of Boston, uh, Bill Burr's probably in the lower third of anybody that I actually think is funny. He's got some funny bits, um, but Bob Kelly is funnier, Dennis Leary is funnier, Patrice O'Neill's uh, just communicative style and his act is better. It's like, I don't know why he's held in such high regard. Oh right, Rogan's from Boston as well, or at least uh, he claims Boston in some form or fashion, or fashion rather. I put uh, Bill Burr and Joe Rogan on the exact same level, which is appropriate because they're both the two heads of the same coin. They're about as controversial as one another, really. But I think that'll end my hot takes for the day, okay? And I'm sure I pissed off enough people with that. Bill Burr's fine, MLK are fine, okay? There's just much more important people to pedestalize, in my opinion. Uh, the massive bronze dick, entitled The Embrace, features two sets of arms holding each other. Really? Okay, because one, from a certain angle, like you can see just the right at the top of the screen, okay? One of those is the disembodied arm. At best, you can interpret that, okay? And the other one right there uh, just kind of looks like, I don't know, man, maybe somebody cradling a football? Like, it's so bad. Like, I can't understate this.
It's fucking atrocious, and that's gonna be stuck in the middle of Boston Commons? Holy, should've put it in Southie. Maybe there would be something at least funny and graffiti put on top of this and make it worthwhile, but fucking Christ, bro. But yes, it's an artistic, or autistic, retarded interpretation of a classic photo of Coretta Scott and hubby Martin Luther King Jr. hugging after he won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. And yeah, I might be out of the loop on that, but is that like a, is that a famous picture? Is that like... Arnold Schwarzenegger on um, stage at a bodybuilding show, okay? Is that like um, Muhammad Ali uh, knocking out Sonny Liston or standing over top of him? Is that one of these famous pictures that I've been out of the loop on for a bunch of different iconic moments? Is it uh, is it at the same level as Tiger Woods' fist pump after he won the Masters? Is that what we're talking about here with this one-off weird fucking reference? And if this is supposed to be about MLK, you had to work in his wife? It's like... He seemed to be pretty successful, even outside of the confines of the marriage, and he liked to be outside of the confines of the marriage a couple of different times. Which he does kind of win me back for that, but bro, what are you doing? Like, this is... Have him on a balcony or some shit like that. Like, I don't, I don't know how that is supposed to represent. Without being told, you would not know what the fuck that is, okay? Somebody carrying a log up a hill, a metaphorical and a theoretical log. Again, somebody delivering a stunt cock to a fucking Blackzilla film. Like, that would maybe make the most sense. It's so fucking terrible. Uh, mainstream media was reporting on it like it was all beautiful because they were told they had to say that Seneca Scott, uh, Coretta's uh, cousin, told the Post by phone Sunday. Fair enough. Good ass take right there. But when it came out, a little boy pointed to it. That's a penis. And everyone was like, yo, that's a big old dong, man. <laughs> Said the 40, uh, 43-year-old Oakland, California resident. If you had showed that statue to anybody in the hood, they'd be like, uh, no, absolutely not. Yo, I don't claim any fucking hood up here in northern Alberta. I just take a look at that and it's like, that's a dick. That's that's a cut dick and somebody's a fucking a delivering it somewhere. What the fuck are you actually doing? He wrote scornfully in Compact Mag. Ten million dollars were wasted to create a masturbatory metal homage to my legendary family members. A little on the nose or on the chin, neck, and chest. One of the all-time greatest American families. Fair enough, man. And hey, we all know there was a lot of love in that family, and especially from MLK's side. He had so much love, he just had to go and spread it about the community. Seneca told the Post that woke culture allowed the expensive abstract experiment to come to fruition. Yeah, exactly, because nobody anywhere at any point in time said this was a bad fucking decision. What are you... <laughs> it's, it's so bad. This is the worst sculpture I've seen. Uh, in a long time. I'd have to have my memory refreshed, but I understand that um, sometimes we're hamstrung by the moment, but that's just, it's terrible. Members of the King family last week unveiled the artwork near the MLK, oh, near where MLK and Coretta Scott first met in college. Okay, so that's the historical significance to Boston. It's just, why would you, okay, if you were if you were to depict something, um, maybe you'd have them like a statue where they're holding hands or something like that, if this is, yeah, where they first met. But why would you reference something that happened very late in their marriage? And is that supposed to be a famous picture or something? Like, I understand, yeah, it's right after he won a Nobel Peace Prize, but that's supposed to be, fa oh my god, it's, it's lost on me, at least, okay? Maybe the historical significance is just lost on me. Martin Luther King III approved the piece. Why did he get a chunk of the 10 mil? Like, what are we doing? Which was designed by conceptual artist Hank Willis Thomas for the organization Embrace Boston. Embrace Boston without heads, without torsos, without context, like... Fucking Christ. Okay, the artworks funding was a result of public-private fundraising partnerships. So some of the members... So fucking Boston taxpayer dollars went to this abomination. Holy. Uh, City of Boston said on its website, Oh man, I wish old Mayor Menino was still around for him to, you know, unveil and dedicate this statue because that that's the type of hilarity that we need on top of this. Oh, we all work our lives as a storytelling is an abstraction. And all representation of an abstraction uh, really nails it home. It's like, this is supposed to be abstract, bro. It's modern art. You're not supposed to get it. You're supposed to get whatever you get from it, okay? Don't think too much about it, bro. Just like those idiots defending Glass Onion. What a 
fucking abortion of a film that is. I haven't watched it. I just listened to a bunch of reviews of it. And holy fuck, if you watched that and thought it was good and you're actively trying to defend it, yo, Ryan Johnson got you. That round-headed fuck actually got you. A motherfucker who named something, who named a film after what he sees when he looks in the mirror every day. Hey, my head's round. I should try to work that into my next film or filmic maspiratory effort fucking oof okay uh the artworks funding was a result or rather background hopefully it allows us to open more dynamic and complex forms of representation that don't stick us to narratives that oversimplify a person or their legacy yeah because nothing quite oversimplifies something like having three two what just reducing somebody down to arms and have people openly laugh at it and go what the fuck is that shit yeah heaven forbid you'd want to have a sculpture represent anything at least they got the hands right from that out or that angle i guess and i think this work uh, tries to get to the heart of that the artist says on his website yeah that's all nice you got any like people actively laughing oh you got some white people walking away from it. it's like this is just stupid there's some ki hey it's like not nah, kids those but those buttons are supposed to be on there you can't just take it off and see if there's chocolate inside of it shit's terrible <laughs> that angle really does sell it okay but seneca told the post the woke al woke algorithm is just broke it's just broke i don't know what else to tell you if you went through all of that and that's what you came up with something's wrong he said yeah, I just off the top of my head, I think you probably could have encapsulated it something better than that. But why did you even need the statue to begin with? Okay, this is off. You know, this is awful. The British rapper and podcast. Oh, Zuby. Hey, Zuby tweeted that. Zuby's a good man. Ah, oh, see, it looks like a heart from that out uh, from that angle. But again, it's still disembodied arms carrying something. It's so it's so at ten million dollars. Even ten dollars would have been too much for this. It's it's a joke. Seneca's grandfather was one of the twenty five children of Jeff Scott, son of a slave that became one of Alabama's wealthiest black landowners. Grandfather's brother Obadiah. This is becoming too complex. Is that where they got the picture of a tree? Because we're trying to figure out the Scott family tree. It's like, yes, uh, the people associated and come from the uh, Scott King lineage say that this um, artistic atrocity is bad. Okay. Do we need to run their credits? I don't think it matters. A solid bronze statue. Like, what are we doing here? He asked. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, it is doubly insulting to the black community who still on average, too many of us are below the poverty line, Scott said. Yeah, no, exactly. That's another thing too. It's like, okay, cool. If this was just, you know, somebody's effort, they got the go ahead from the you know city of Boston to put up a statue because they thought something should be represented. Okay. And if it was a totally private endeavor, what the fuck ever, man? Like it's still funny to begin with, but given the fact that it's taxpayer dollars right there and it's running eight digits it's it's like you fucked up on multiple levels but that happened oh this happened a couple of days ago we got something that happened on the day care of noted not racist man whatsoever a man who made sure and wanted so clearly to make sure that his children did not grow up in a racial jungle that he was so pro segregation which i like i said i'm i'm out of the loop when it comes to the overall history of mlk but i i seem to recall one of his more famous quotes of uh don't judge anybody on the character or on the color of their skin but rather the content of their character but i guess old uncle joe has had a turn of turn of heart or something like that right now he wants everybody to come together because it's politically expedient happy birthday to who biden forgets martin luther king the third's wife's name but that's all right uh, he got a cut of that boston statue and he's still laughing about it oh uh, wife's name while singing happy birthday to her oh he's he's a creepy man and calls republicans fiscally demented in a bizarre speech bro you're up you're an 80 year old man singing happy birthday to somebody you don't even know their name of and you have the audacity to call somebody else demented this is politics in 2023 president joe biden 80 that's not being hyperbolic he is 80 fucking years old and he does every time he opens his mouth he reminds you very honestly that he is 80 years old i i don't I, how do those classified documents get into my house i don't know man 
uh, made an embarrassing misstep. Oh, it's just Joe being Joe, just the Biden gaffe. Uh, when he forgot the name of Martin Luther King the Third's wife, while initiating a group singing of happy birthday song during an event honoring the late civil rights leader, Andrea Waters King. Oh, her birthday is January 16th. Oh, that, that would be today, which fell on Martin Luther King Day, which is just wonderful and fantastic and just the stars aligned, I guess. And she's so happy to be a part of that family that she had her last name hyphenated. Biden attended the annual MLK breakfast, which was hosted at two o'clock in the afternoon in uh, Washington by the Reverend Al Sharpton National Action Network. Is this, is this just where you go to flog yourself for being white? Like, what are we doing here, bro? Uh, Sharpton got his start as a civil rights organizer. Is, is, is that what Al Sharpton's known for? Okay. During his opening remarks, he paused to encourage everyone to sing happy birthday to Waters King. Strange speech also included a moment where the president called Republicans fiscally demented. Did everybody just, just turn and look to each other and then go, what the fuck? Uh, well, look, my wife has a rule in her family. Oh, you listen to your wife? Oh, uh, what? Uh, when it's somebody's birthday, you sing happy birthday. Oh, good. I'm glad that that's a unique tradition within the confines of the Biden family. Holy fuck, bro. Just a little bit more of this because I'm personally getting dumber reporting on this. Uh, but when it came to the time of, for Biden to place Water King's first name into the verse, Biden instead mumbled, Happy birthday, Santa Claus. Uh, it appears that he started to say the name of Valerie. Who the fuck is Valerie? Valerie Jarrett? Did, did, did she lead him up on stage or is that the last black person that he um, rubbed shoulders with? Happy birthday, Barack Obama. Uh, there was a general laughter amongst the crowd because it's like, wow, you're 80 and you're the president and you can't even string anything together. Oh, and somebody else is demented. Very interesting. President concluded his last gaffe uh, with a futile, well, huh, which way do I get off the stage? Um, Andrea has been married to King the third since 2006. Oh, so you know, it's just a recent hookup. They have a daughter, Yolanda Renee King, and Biden also didn't know who the fuck that was. It's like, hello, little, ah, uh, we won't go that far. Uh, <laughs> yo, in all honesty, um, listen, man, if you want to recognize the accomplishments of Martin Luther King, that's totally fine. Do I think that there needs to be a holiday for it? That's kind of out of my control and really not my wheelhouse. And frankly, I don't care if it's an opportunity and people like the fact that they get an additional day off in January. Cool, I guess. We don't have anything analogous up here in Canada. We had that stupid day after all of the graves underneath the residential schools. Oh, guess what? Guess how many bodies have been recovered from those graves? Zero. But all white people need to feel bad about that. Residential school system. So that's supposed to double on like a Friday and some point. Fuck Trudeau. I'm sure he's also celebrating uh, Martin Luther King, Bert, uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday as well. I think you know where I'm going with that joke because there's several pictures of him doing his best impression and it's a little bit more accurate than some other costumes. So Trudeau can do that. I can just show you how Americans are celebrating by giving some mushed mouth fucking speech. It's like, isn't it funny that the, that the political party that your father was so a part of all those years is physically retarded? But here, let me forget how a uh, happy birthday goes and take a look at this. A really great shit statue. Fucking Christ, bro. With all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.